Hey guys, I uh, hope you guys are having a wonderful day or morning. Good morning if it's morning. I'm not sure when this video is gonna go up. As you can tell that my scheduling or uploading videos is like way off the charts. And I do apologize if you guys actually watch my videos. I don't know. Um, I look like crap. Uh, today we're gonna do like a get ready with me using only Ipsy products. I've done this before, but I just have like so many. I went through all the bags and I have so many brand new things that I just like, I could do a whole face of, in a whole face of makeup using only my Ipsy products. Um, the only thing I do not have is concealer and so I guess we're not using concealer or anything for the eyebrows. So my eyebrows are gonna stay crappy like this too. But yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I wash my face and stuff, so it's a little dry. I'm gonna be using the H2O Beauty Hydrating Treatment, which is a water gel moisturizer that I got in my Ipsy um, bag. I don't know when I got these, to be honest. They're probably like few months ago and I'm just gonna put that all on my face I don't have a mirror Ugh, put too much I don't have a mirror with me so I'm like there's a mirror like right behind you guys that I'm using <laughs> I mean, I've used this before because normally when I, I mean, I don't use it, but normally when I get the Ipsy products, I always tend to try them on my skin before even trying them on my face and stuff because my skin's very sensitive and if I don't do that, I probably will like break out or something. Like, as you can tell, I've been breaking out recently because I tried a new product that I just like put on my face without, you know, testing it or whatever. And yeah. But I mean it feels it feels good. Like once it starts to kinda of dry a little bit, like it feels a little bit not sticky but a little bit tacky, but it's not sticky. Like I don't know how to explain that. But yeah, that is this treatment thing bobber. This alright and for foundation I have this um little tart tinted hydrator so <laughs> like how small this is probably not gonna be enough for my face but like focus this and it doesn't seem to be my shade and i haven't tried this before so i guess my skin's just gonna break out because i don't know well, it might be my skin color. Yeah, it might be. Oh, you know what? I don't have anything to apply it with. I'll just... I'm going to be using my Morphe sponge that is disgusting. So I'm not going to show you, but... I'm going to let that... Oh, wait. What am I doing? What the... <laughs> guys, um, did you guys forget to remind me to prime? Um... For primer, I'm going to be using this, um, the Professional Pri Hydrate Primer by Benefits. Benefit. Look like this. Look how tiny this thing is, guys. Hey, you're so cute. I've tried this one before, but not the, not this kind. It was a different, um, different one. And I love it. I mean... It's so cute. It's so little. I mean, like, I don't even know where, where to, like, put this stuff. I'm making a mirror. I'm gonna hold it, like, weird. So I'm just gonna put that... Oh, it feels nice. It has a different texture than the one the one that I use. Um, I think it's the matte one. So this is, like, a hydrating. I think I like this better than the other one. The other one kind of feels like like i don't know like it has a very smooth very like weird texture but i mean it's really good i like it and this one has more it's smooth but it glides on like it doesn't feel like the sandy grainy like sand grainy texture as the other one 
I don't know. I'm just gonna put that where I get. I'm just gonna put that like right, like usually like right here on my nose and a little bit here and a little bit like over here. All right, so that's on. I mean, it feels okay. Does it cover my pores? I don't know. I have really big pores and they're very, very, very disgusting. So, um. Yeah, that foundation might be a little bit too light on me, but we're just gonna put it on. Ah, nose is itchy. Um, this is a weird, like... Guys, it's like very windy. I don't know if you could hear it. I mean, it's sunny, but it's like windy. I mean, it's it's okay, I guess. We'll see how it wears. Um, now I don't have concealer, so I'm not gonna use concealer because that's cheating from what I'm trying to do. So whatever, I'm gonna use this this brush that has powder on it um i got this from ipsy it's really cute i love this i don't know what this is but not sure what it's used for either oh it says a round blush brush i guess it's for blush but i don't use it for blush so <clears throat> i use it to apply my highlighter actually so i'm gonna to set my face i'm gonna use this lara Merci mercier um loose powder and I took off the thing, like I had a little thing right here for like, so you could take out powder like a little bit, but I hate it. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna put that all over my face. Alright guys, so that is the face. I mean, it's not bad. It's, it looks okay. It's more like a natural kind of... I still look very white though. I don't know if it's the lighting or if it's the actual foundation, but it's cool. Do I like it? I mean, I can't tell right now. It did take away all the redness from my face. I guess that's a good thing. Why are you staring at me like that, dude? Look at him. Did my little, that's my little old man. He's like, uh, 13 years old, I think. I would zoom into his face, but he's kind of ugly, so. <laughs> Just kidding, he's cute. Um, yeah, so what next? I don't know. Oh, yeah, for... For con bronzer, contour, whatever, I'm gonna be using this, which I actually love and I've used and abused. Um, yeah, I don't know what this was called. It was like a duo. Oh, I think I could still read the name of it. Uh, Pacifica. I'm not entirely sure actually, but it, the name's completely like off. You can, let me see it on camera. No, I can't see it with my eyes. I can't see it on camera. Um, and it has like a mirror like back here. But I can open it. <laughs> so it looks like this. I use this to like bronze and contour, whatever. I don't normally contour. I just like put like a bronzer on my face and stuff. I've never used this right here. It's like a blush topper or something. It's very shiny. I don't really like it. I could live without it. Um. Oh, what? brush i'm gonna be using this brush yeah this one that i got from ipsy as well it's a blush brush from i don't know from where it just has like an a symbol with the crown i don't know if that means anything to anybody but yep So, because my face is very, like, weird shape long, I always apply, like, bronzer. I mean, 
pretty sure I'm not doing it right or whatever, but I like how it looks on my face when I'm doing it right because it's not working for me. Um, but yeah, I usually like put it like right here and then I'll like blend it really high up right here on my cheek. And then I usually blend in the blush right here as well. And then the highlighter goes on top of everything, but this is not looking good. For my nose as well, I'm just going to kind of do this and kind of like blend it in there. use a very small brush to do my nose but this also works that so you just grab like your bronzer with whatever brush you're using and you like literally just put it all over your nose man like don't even don't even bother if you look like this and then mainly focus on the bridges of your nose like on the sides the bridge sides and then like grab the brush and do like back and forth like this and circles like on your nose and stuff and then grab your beauty sprung your your beauty blender beauty sponge dip it in some powder I'm telling you man this is gonna be life hack and I'm using the Laura Mercier um, powder then you put it on the side of your nose like so and then do the other side like so. Maybe down the middle with whatever products left on your sponge. Not a lot. Like so. You grab your, your I was gonna say your sponge, your um brush and you dust it off. I don't know if it's gonna work well with this, but I've done this before and it looks nice. And then you put highlighter like on your nose and it will look bomb. Um, for blush, I have blush. I'm going to be using this Shinab Miami thing that I got from Ipsy and I love it. Like I love the shade. But I don't, I always have a hard time like opening this thing. Okay. So it looks like this and I've used it. And it used to have like little flamingos there and it was super cute or whatever. You could still kind of see it. But, yeah, I'm going to use this as a blush. And I'm just going to use this brush that I use for the bronzer. Dust it off a little bit. Yeah, I love that. I love that um shade. And then just lightly pat it over. My dog is literally staring at me like, who the fuck are you talking to? <laughs> and yeah, so sometimes I tend to put my blush, like this blush, because it's like a peachy tone, kind of like a warmish kind of tone. I usually put it like right here and I just like pat it over. And it'll be like over the bronzer and blend it in there. And then on my nose as well, I just do this like to my nose. So now there's more on this side than there is on this side. And you can never have too much of this blush because, I mean, there's really not much going on on the rest of my face. It looks really pale, so I'm just kind of trying to give it some color, man. Alright, <clears throat> for highlighter, I have, I have a lot of highlighters that I've gotten from Ipsy. I think my favorite is, oh yeah, actually, Jits. Because I've actually gotten this from Ipsy, and it's super dirty, it's disgusting. Like, I don't want to show you, but it's an Ofra highlighter. Um, I got this from Ipsy. Yes, full size product I got from Ipsy. Um, it is literally down to the pan because I love it so much. But I do have other smaller highlights like this one. This is a, oh, this is an eyeshadow, but I mean, 
I use these as highlighters. This is, um, I don't know how to pronounce that name, but let's see if it focus. Uh, it won't focus. I have this one. I have this one, the K Boss Fairy Dust um, Pressed Highlighter. This is super like white, but it's very pretty and shimmery. I have, um, yeah, I have a lot. I don't know where they're all at right now, but I'm going to be using my Ofra highlighter to save this look because I don't know what's going on with my face right now. But for highlighter, like, um, I usually put some on my nose. This mirror is dusty. I do it, like, right here on my nose because I like to look like Rudolph and stuff. Like, um, I, I just love, like, super shiny stuff. I love like highlighter and stuff. I'm going to be using this brush that I normally use for highlighter. And then just kind of. And I do bring my highlighter all the way down here. Just because of the way my face is shaped I guess. I don't know. I saw Nikki Tutorial do it once and I did it and I loved it. And I started doing it ever since then. So she is my idol my queen she is a queen in general but yeah <clears throat> for eyes um i think i'm gonna go in with this i this one is new i received it like last month i think uh, it looks like this it's very pretty i mean it has like three shimmers and one matte but i think i'm gonna use these like darker tones on my like a very plum look the only thing is that I don't have um, any thing to set on my face, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit, and I'm gonna put some concealer because your girl don't don't put no eyeshadow without putting any base first, okay? But don't do that. Don't do that. I'm just gonna use a little bit though. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna apply it with my finger. You just want some type of base so your eyeshadow stick and don't go everywhere. Uh, I put a lot on this eye. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and get started with the eyes. Oh, where did I put it? Okay. I'm going to start off with, uh, do they have names? Um, I don't know if they have names or not. I'm going to start off with this right here because it's the only, like, matte-ish color. I don't know, when I swapped it, there was a little glitter on it, so. And I'm going to lightly just pat that all over my crease. a little even now um so now with my finger i'm gonna go into this plum color that's very like it's a shimmery plum or like a brown i don't know it looks brown on my finger but it's like it's a plum color i don't know i'm just gonna put that all over my eyelid with my finger these are more like of a all like a natural everyday kind of look I mean, there's nothing natural about this, but it's very more on the softer side. Nothing too crazy. Nothing like I'm used to, but it'll do. It looks pretty. I mean, it's not, there's nothing wrong with the whole look itself. And then I'm just going to blend out the edges with this. I'm also going to use this little brush that I got from Ipsy and I'm going to go into the um, the pinkish shade right here, this one. I'm going to grab a little bit, put that in my inner corner. Ooh, that one's pretty. that in my inner corner. 
Oh, that is a pretty, like, that is very pretty. I put some on my brow bone. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna mix it in there with the purple just to give it a little bit more shine. And then I'm gonna grab more of the purple plum color with a brush and go over it. All right, um, so I'm gonna keep it very natural. Um, like it's a natural grungy kind of look. It looks more brown, but it's actually very more on the purplish side in person. So that's that for mascara i got two options um i've gotten this from ipsy but i actually bought it from ipsy so um we're gonna be using a different one because i feel like that's cheating even though it did come from ipsy um my lips are a little bit chapped so before i put any lip product i'm gonna use this that i got from ipsy and i love it it's a gloss but it's like it reminds me of like you know like the I don't even know when they came out but you know like when lip glosses were cool and that song was like my lip gloss is cool my lip gloss is popping and everybody wore a lip gloss I had this little rolly thingy that's what it reminds me of and I love it but it has like the ball is a metal thing so it feels really cooling and refreshing on my lips and it's very like hydrating I don't know I love this stuff yeah, I was never one of those cool kids that had lip gloss like this. I was one of those weirdos that would eat my chapstick and stuff because it smelled so good. So, um, what was I doing? Mm, okay, my eyes. Oh, mascara. I got this mascara recently. It's called Big Eagle by Tarte. Comes with this little tiny. Look how small these things are, though. They're so cute. I love them. Okay, look at the brush. Okay, so this is like tiny product. Look at this brush. Gadoom. This thing is huge. So. I don't really like brushes like these just because, um, I don't know, I just don't like them. Like, this is my favorite mascara of all times. And it has very small, like, bristles. It really gets in there. I have really tiny eyes. So, I love this mascara. And I just hit my face. But yeah, we're going to try this one for this video. Guys, my dog's so annoying. He wanted to go outside and I let him out of my room. And then he starts barking because he wants to come back inside. So now he's laying there again. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm not going to put on eyelashes. I don't think so. Well, I might. Yeah, actually, I am. Why not? Um, but for lips, I'm going to go ahead. I actually got a Huda Beauty um lip liner thing on my bag like probably like five months ago whatever i hardly wear it just because it's a very dark color but i'm gonna wear it today now this is, this doesn't go with the lipstick that i'm about to put on but it's the only thing i got from i have well i do have one that goes with it i have gotten these two lipsticks from ipsy um this little one probably goes with this lip color, kind of. It's like this, but I don't want to use that one. I want to use this one. This is more like a nude. It's by Bella, Bella Pierre Cosmetics. Just looks like it's this color right here. I like this one, actually. Oh, it smells kind of good. It's very buttery and creamy. I don't even know. Is this a review, guys? Is this a review video? Because it feels like it sounds like I'm reviewing these products. Um, for gloss, I have this thingy. This is a it's a full size product, by the way. Um, Context Liquid Lock Cure. I don't want to speak French, but. Yeah, it's this color. It's pretty. Oh, it smells good. Alright, guys.
guys, and that is the finished, completed makeup look for the day. Um, I went ahead and put on the more naturalist eyelashes that I could find. Um, these so happen to be it. Uh, these are by House of Lashes. I don't know which ones they are, but they came in a mystery package I bought. But yeah, guys, that, that is the finished makeup look. I definitely... I don't hate this foundation, actually. Maybe if it was, like, a little bit more of my tone, my skin tone, it's actually very more natural, which I don't mind at all, but it's definitely just, like, a tinted um, foundation. It's not, like, an actual foundation uh, where it would cover anything, but um, it did cover a little bit of my redness, which is fine, but then I put blush over it, so it's, like, whatever. Um, but, yeah, that's... That is a completed eye look, and definitely, like, my eyebrows are looking crusty, but we didn't have any eyebrow products, so, yeah. You guys like my shirt? It's, uh, it says 90s girl, like, on the side right here. It's by Nickelodeon, and it has, like, a bunch of characters from, like, back then. Ugh. I like it. Tie-dye, too. It's very cool. Um, but, yeah, okay. I will see you guys uh, next week, and don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and follow me on Instagram. I will leave my description. I will leave my uh, link to my Instagram in the description box down below, so you can just click it, and I'll direct you right to it. Hit that follow button or friend button, and I will follow you back. So, bye. Hope you guys have a great day.